a dream last night. When I woke up, I remembered it, but just a moment ago, scars. My dreams keep. Good morning, good evening, whatever time you're watching this, welcome. My name is Shay, and in today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you through a full week of workouts. This is my current summertime routine for an hourglass figure and body recomposition. If you're new to my channel, I've always gained weight in my upper body faster than my lower body. It's so nice. <laughs> I've always had big boobs and no ass, and one day I just got tired of it, y'all. I had enough, okay? So instead of complaining about it, I told myself that I wanted to be more confident, I wanted to love what I saw in the mirror, and I wanted to be strong. So Starting off my fitness journey, I set a goal of building my glutes and shrinking my waist. I wanted the hourglass shape with the full wide hips and the smaller torso. So throughout the years of my journey, I realized in order to gain muscle and lose fat, I'd have to completely recomposition my body. So I had to make sure my nutrition was on point and I was pushing myself in the gym. I'm going to go over each day in my workout split and tell you why the split has worked out for me. To the bay and night for ya Anything to get a little time with you Haven't felt like this in a while You really know how to make a girl smile Give it your time It's more than I ask when you see me Oh, you make love and you easy take Nothing for me to complete you, baby Oh, and I usually keep to myself But you give me Good morning! Oh, two busted nails. Okay, well, it is Shay. She is back. She got the gym fit on. Looking hella cute. Got my little clips in. We looking hella cute today. Today, we are going to hit ultimate booty workout, okay? And I already know I'm finna be sore, all right? So we got our protein pancakes. Hit that protein intake. Got my DIY digestion shots. I'm a little bloated this morning. And we gonna get some groceries today, healthy groceries. So let's go to the gym. Okay, first, let's take this together, okay? Cheers. Oh, a lot of spicy. body lower body splits i like to set up my week by hitting legs a good glute workout really sets the tone of the week it makes me feel strong and confident i start off with a dynamic warm-up to open up my hip flexors and activate my glutes i try not to do too extensive of a glute activation warm-up because it exhausts me before i can even get into my actual lift so i start off my leg day with compound lifts so the hip thrust is something i've seen the most progress from i prefer using the barbell because i can load up the weight on it a lot easier but sometimes if i'm not really feeling it or i'm just like tired or the gym is busy, I'll use the hip thruster machine. So I'll try to do these in sets of 10. I add weight each set and I go until failure. If I don't do pulses after my set, I will drop the weight and I do body weight pulses. So over the years, I've just preferred doing my hip thrusts at the beginning of my workout because it just gets the blood pumping. And when I go to get into other workouts, I can feel it so much more in my glutes. Ooh, I'm gonna pull up study to the side. She keep coming at me every day and night. When I left in my life, started feeling right, yeah, yeah, ooh, these days I do anything I like, granted for this life every day and night, when I left I told them I would get it right, yeah, yeah, break bread and break hearts, don't get me started now, break up to break down, I'm getting money now, fuck love, I can't trust, I'm too damn jaded now, break laws, got love. Sorry, 
She know that I'm a straight shooter So my chick bad like Luda Ooh I'ma pull up shawty to the side She keep coming at me every day and night When I left them, my life started feeling right Yeah, yeah, ooh These days I do anything I like Grinding for this life every day and night When I left, I told him I would get it right Yeah, yeah Whip a Tesla, off the fucking lot I got hella bands on me Fuck a sing-along They won't ever bang on me While I got this guy Only talking big money Cause I love the guap I'm flipping big bags and a fresh cash No tic tacs My life look like six I have been loving these dumbbell RDLs. I like the range of motion I can get with the dumbbells versus a barbell. I feel like once I go above 30 pounds, I just feel it in my back, which is very distracting. So I usually, I'll just lower the weight, go a bit lower and focus on the mind to muscle connection. Cause I done made it out of so the angled leg press is an exercise I've really come to love. My warm-up weight is two plates and I'll keep adding weight until I go to failure. My goal is three plates right now and I know I can get it if I just keep adding weight, <laughs> okay? Now I'm the one they shorty into But I can't ever love a bitch like Ooh, I'm gonna pull a shorty to the side She keep coming at me every day and night when I left them, my life started feeling right Yeah, yeah, ooh These days I do anything I like Running for this life every day and night When I left, I told them I would get it right Yeah, yeah So after that, I go into some dumbbell sumo squats I've really been neglecting my deadlifts and squats, but I find incorporating this movement has helped me a lot. So I grab the heaviest dumbbell, which is the 75 pound dumbbell, and I focus on really getting a good mind to muscle connection. So I use my glutes to pull the weight up by using my heels to act like I'm pushing the ground away from me. I keep remembering that. So as a glute burnout, I love to do these glute extensions. If you have not tried these out, they burn, okay? I've only recently added weight to them because just doing body weight was painful. When I left them, my life started feeling right Yeah, yeah, ooh These days I do anything I like Grinding for this life every day and night When I left, I told them I would get it right Yeah, yeah I'm dead Look at the glute pump I am so sorry she looking fat though. She looking thick. Intro. Now I'm the one they shorty into, but I can't ever love a bitch like ooh. I'm gonna pull a shorty to the side. She keep coming at me every day and night. When I left them, my life started feeling right Yeah, yeah, ooh These days I do anything I like I don't wanna ever go There's pretty killers over there on the low They're trying to make me change the way I see the world Trying to pull me under, trying to make me slip up I'm trying to paint the picture, so hear me out I hate the way the issues turn up unannounced Always bringing drama without a doubt I can't even hold back, I'm in my feelings I'll wear them on my wrist I wish you could be my oasis But you're always acting wasted And to think we almost dated, that was crazy It's clear that you love complications 
don't ever see you changing Cause you're too busy trying to be famous I can't deny I wish we could survive the Good morning, y'all! So we are going to the gym, back and biceps day. And, oh no, it is not back and biceps day. It is chest, triceps, chest, tricep, shoulders, I think, yeah. So my trainer just put a whole new protocol for me. Um, so we're gonna be doing that. This is exciting. This is probably the first time I've done chest on a Tuesday uh, since like last year, I think. And I, and I do like, I love working my chest. Love it, ladies. Naturally lifts the titties. Work your chest, I'm telling you. And nice posture too. Um, but yeah, let's go to the gym. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? Good. My second day in the gym on a Tuesday is a chest, triceps, and shoulder workout. Ladies, if you really want an hourglass figure, you're going to want to train your upper body. Trust me, I was that girl who didn't want to work her upper body because I thought I was going to get bulky. I get it. I get it, okay? But trust me, if you train your shoulders and back, it's going to give that illusion of a tiny waist. You're going to get that V shape, you know? You're only going to get bulky or manly if you're taking steroids. And are you? No. Nope. That's what I thought. Plus, take it from me, the lifts that you want to do to grow your glutes, you're gonna need upper body strength at some point, like deadlifting, squats, all those compound movements, you're gonna need upper body strength. So my goal is to have complete overall hourglass physique. That's what I've been working on. On day number two, I train my chest. Over the years, as someone with bigger boots, this has changed the game. It gives you a natural breast lift, you feel strong, it helps your posture. I just love training my chest. People have asked me if it makes you lose your boobs. No, boobs are fat, so losing fat will make you lose your Groups. Training your chest is only going to target the muscle, which will give you that lifted look. I prefer using dumbbells to do my chest presses because it gives me a greater range of motion. So I play around with the height of the bench. Sometimes I like the bench to be higher, sometimes lower. I've really been liking the slightly flat bench, not all the way flat, but slightly inclined. Gravity is acting against me pushing, so it gives me that added extra challenge. I make sure I dig my shoulder blades right into the bench, put a little arch in my back, and I make sure I keep all the tension in my chest. If I feel the tension and slipping I will just readjust my back we don't want to injure our shoulders <laughs> so I will also do these in sets of 10 to 12 and I increase my weight each set right now my max has been 25 pounds without a spotter and even that has been feeling a bit light so I'm gonna increase my weight I've been adding pull-ups into my routine because that has been a goal of mine for so long to hit a body weight pull-up I double band them to help now depending on the day I can get a few good reps or a few shitty ones I don't always feel strong and that's normal it depends on how exhausting the day was how I'm feeling etc if I'm not really feeling strong and I want to focus more on the muscle connection or hypertrophy, hypertrophy. <laughs> I'll use the assisted pull-up machine and I'll do more reps. If I'm doing banded pull-ups, I'll do as many reps as I can until failure. The military press is one of my favorite movements. It's just so hard for me. It's a great exercise that works your core, shoulder, chest, everything at once. So I do these until failure with a barbell. At the end, I'll do push-ups until failure. If you struggle with push-ups, here's a little hack. Use a resistance band around your elbows. It helps you with your body weight so you can really focus on practicing the motion without, you know, your heavy body weight. It's been helping me. Good morning! Ooh, I'm back. You see this busted nail? I was trying to get it fixed today. I couldn't. I could not. So today we are going to hit back and biceps today. Ooh, I'm 
Wednesdays used to be another leg day, but since I've been pushing myself so much in the gym, I'm just way too sore. So Wednesday is a back and biceps day. I always start off with dynamic stretching as well as just warming up the muscles. The band has really helped my flexibility and mobility, so I would encourage you to try that out. <laughs> And break hearts, don't get me started now Break up, to break down I'm getting money now Fuck love, I can't trust I'm too damn jaded now Break laws, got love so after my muscles are nice and warmed up, I do some single arm dumbbell rows, four sets of 10. I'll increase my weight halfway through. For this motion, I really focus on pulling my elbows towards the ceiling and feeling the contraction in my lat muscles. I really focus and make sure that my biceps are not taking over this movement, because they can. And I'll pull in a slow and controlled manner. See, keep coming at me every day and night. When I left them, my life started feeling right. The lat pull down is one of my favorite exercises. I try to go as heavy as I can with these. I'll start off with 75 pounds, which is a warm up, and then increase the weight each set. I'll switch around the handles from closed grip to wide grip. This targets the lat muscles a lot differently. So I make sure I lean back a little, pull the attachment towards my chest. I always like to add in some sort of like cable movement at the end to really exhaust the muscles. I try to fit in 15 to 20 minutes of cardio after each workout. Sometimes that doesn't always work out. I'm gonna pull up study to the side. She keep coming at me every day and night. When I left them, my life started feeling right. So, Wednesday has come. It is my second leg day of the week. Usually, I'll split my leg days into one that is glute and hamstring focus, and the other is glute and quad focus. I've actually neglected quads for quite a while because I didn't want my legs to get bigger. But honestly, when you're lean, the defined quad look is just very sexy. It gives that illusion of having big hips. So I start off this leg day and again with some dynamic stretching and glute activation. I have the same routine for every single leg day. So I do these little crab stretches to open up my hip flexors. These feel so good. <laughs> Warming up my hip flexors lets me hit greater debt with my leg press. I said debt so weird. Um, my squats and other movements. Plus it avoids me having those like crab Cramps in my hips. Have you ever got that? Like it hurts. So I always add the leg press into my routine. I'll keep increasing the weight until I go to failure. My quads really be on fire, like on fire at the end of these reps, okay? I'm gonna put a study to the side. She keep coming at me every day and night. When I left in my life, started feeling right. Yeah, yeah, like, ooh. I wanted to do a lunge movement, but I didn't have the energy for Bulgarian split quads. <laughs> What is going on me today? What is going on me today? <laughs> I didn't have the energy for Bulgarian split squats. I always try to have at least one type of lunge movement in my workout. So when Friday comes along, I'm usually so burnt out from work and just from pushing myself in the gym, from life, you know, from all, all that. I found that instead of pushing myself to go to the gym on a Friday, I could actually take a rest day, just take a little break and focus on my recovery. So the recovery portion is actually one of the most important parts because in the gym, you're just tearing your muscles. The actual muscle building is done when you're resting. And it took me a really long time to prioritize my rest days. I used to have to force myself to rest, even now, like I feel guilty just taking a day off, but you know, it's important. So I usually have my award meal on this day and I treat myself. I usually like to take a nice long hot bath with some Epsom salt to relax my muscles. I brought this CBD bath bomb to try. Honestly, a nice bath with some Netflix and some spa music just does wonders for the body, okay?
Saturday, I get right back into the gym. I'll do some cardio and abs. I don't want to burn myself out too much. So if I'm sore, I'll just foam roll and I'll do some stretching. And that's it for my week of workouts. Let me know if you guys like this style. I'll do more. If you got it this far in the video, comment some snowflake emojis. And if you don't have emojis, just type the word snowflake. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I can picture